What you been doing? Talk to me. Catch, let's catch up with Lala. I mean, I've been trying to focus more on like my articles and writing and different things like that. And I just got an email the other day. They were saying, welcome to the team, which is Black Pepper Magazine on Instagram. And it's more of a, a cultural magazine. And they do like a lot of issues as far as, you know, black skincare, um, black relationships, um, you know, just everything covering what we deal with in the community as far as, you know, being African American. Um, so I did a um, article for them. And now I am a paid published writer. Black power. Right. I was telling my mom, like, Ma, I'm a paid writer now. She was like, I knew you could do it. You know, like, Congrats. Congrats. to actually be paid for what you have to say, you know, is a big honor to me. Um, it's not about the pay. It's about that my voice is getting out there and it's being heard you know, through different avenues. So I'm grateful for that. The magazine said there's great things to come. And I believe, not only I believe what they say, but I believe that I have a voice and I believe that people want to hear what I have to say. I have a lot of experience behind my life. Like, you see this face? Like, okay, I've been through a lot. I've been through hell and back, you know. So I have a lot to say and I have a lot to offer, you know. So going out into the communities and different things like that, educating, you know, our people and also educating other cultures. But I want to educate you guys first, you know. So that's what I've been focused on, you know, just more writing and different things like that. Um, and, you know, my girls and different things like that, making sure they're good and different things like that. So, you know, I'm just like, check out the magazine, Black Pepper Magazine on Instagram. I think I posted it in a group, you know. I'm a woman with a mind. Okay? One day, this boobies will fade. <laughs> I'm, I didn't say anything. I, I didn't say anything. That wasn't me. Therefore, y'all get mad. Call me a woman hater. That wasn't me. Even though, yeah, that, that beauty does fade. Uglies to the bone. And the wall does come. <laughs> I mean, there you have it. <laughs> uh, just on my end, I just been a father, uh, a father, and trying to be a good, trying to be a good boyfriend. That's about <laughs> it. Make sure I say that because she gonna smack me if I don't. <laughs> uh, but it's it's just really being a father, and 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 really, uh, work has been difficult for me. It's been a, a lot of things been going on at work, so I haven't been able to be here as much as I want. But also, um, one of the things I'm in the beginning stages of getting back to is uh, being uh, one of my passions is actually shopping, dressing, and uh, for men. I actually believe that our young men need good examples of men. So uh, I posted in the group, uh, my little cup, my little modern class of gentlemen. Uh, that's actually uh, a line I'm going to start, a blog I'm going to start. I wrote before for another for a gentleman. Uh, what was it? I forgot the name of the website. It was a, a gentleman website where I spoke about just. I had articles about colognes. I had articles about right. how to dress and all those types of types of things. I know I'm not looking great now because hey, <laughs> sweatshirt is what it is. It's cold. We're Michigan. But I mean, especially young men, you yes. know how to dress and how yes. hygiene and smell good. Oh yes. I mean it. It attracts. Uh, a woman when a man know how to dress it really does you know and you get what you put off your yes. aura and how you look your presentation yes you know what I'm saying? so if your presentation is horrible you're going to attract that you yes. know if you're well put together people are like okay yeah. either i gotta step up or I gotta step back <laughs> Because and because it's also one of the things I did do. I had uh, what was called a gentleman hack. It's mm -hmm. certain there was little things that as guys we could do. Right. That's kind of like kind of you know, uh, like I, I had one hack that I actually just used today for my beard. I'm trying to get it nice. It's, I love my beard. So I put a little essential oil, a couple drops of essential oil in uh, with some African oil that I have, some massage African oil, and I just put that in my beard, shaved it up and whatnot. Um, and it makes, it keeps a nice scent, because I think I smell good. 
Okay. Oh, you suck. Uh, <laughs> just say yes. Also, uh, I, you know. I'm beginning that quote because I want Keyshawn to, you know, get to me like, yes, I smell it. I do. <laughs> 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 that's funny but she's nice but but it's also it's, it's a passion of mine uh one of the jobs I, I do have a, i have a second job too i work at Coles, and that's actually i do that just because one i'm cheap uh and i can also uh get clothes for cheap off the clearance rack i got vests ties things of that nature uh it's a it's a it's a passion of mine in all honesty so that's what I've been doing. And uh, we caught up now, I guess. So, right. But this also kind of leads to our, our first topic that we was going to talk about. It was about how in uh, how environment influences relationships. Uh, one thing that's really interesting about relationships is that who you are is based on, on your past, on your, str- on your struggles that you've gone through and what you've seen. You have some people who say... Uh, I won't date a person who doesn't have both their fam, both their parents in the household and things of that nature. Well, it's fine, well, and good, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you're gonna be successful in the relationship. So here's the question that I would like to ask ask you here, and I'm gonna ask my dear co-host here. So we know we're about two, three generations in of I don't need no man to raise my son. <laughs> I don't need a man. I'm good with what without a man. <laughs> uh, so what is a pack what has happened is that you have a lot of men who don't know how to be leaders haven't seen a leader because how can you how can you know how to lead if you've never seen it so should you ladies ch- be accepting of a man who doesn't lead because a lot of you ladies out here y'all leading your households now because i can i can tell you right now ain't no man paying for anything in here so you run your so women are running their whole 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 household. So what's your thoughts behind that? Should a woman now feel that accept the man that is going to take a back seat? He doesn't have to lead. Is that good enough? I mean, on my end, preferably I would want a man to lead, um, but I do know that sometimes the other person, no matter if it's gender based, that you might have more experience. If you do get into a relationship and you have more experience, there's nothing wrong with teaching the person. You know, that's my take on it. Um, If they're willing to learn. You know, so it just goes by, like, how you were raised. And it also goes by, like, okay, because I'm the oldest. And I was married to the youngest. He was very immature. That comes into play a lot. You know, so you have to consider that, like, the youngest is always the baby. They want to be catered to and different things like that. When the oldest, they, like, strictly business. Like, okay, we need to get this done. You know, so those are things to consider when you're in a relationship. You know, being the oldest, middle child, last child, different things like that, and how the person was raised. You know, um, also, if you dating a person where the, the mother did everything in the household, then you can pretty much, you know, figure that he's going to expect you to do everything in the household because that's what he's seen when he was raised. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's nothing to get upset about is whether you're going to accept it or you're not. But that that goes back to seeing that, okay, so Lisa made a good point, say he needs to step up to the plate and be the head of the house if he doesn't know how to. How can he? He could be a, dude, he could be a great guy. Right. He could, he could sit here, go to work and everything. And support you in every other way. Now, I'm not saying this is what you should do. I'm just throwing this out here. In all honesty. He can go to work, be fiscally responsible. Not cheap. Thank you. Thank you, Kashan. And take care of everything else. But he's just not a super... He doesn't like... He's like, look, I don't like making super a ton of decisions. Mm -hmm. Not being indecisive because I'm indecisive. But when it comes down to it, no, we're doing it my way. This is what we're doing, blah, blah, blah. I don't care what you say. But he might not be that type of person. He might be a, more of a passive person. Right. What's wrong with that? If this is this is the situation that we're in now, because we've had so many fatherless homes. Right. So you have guys who haven't seen how to lead. So how a woman can how can a woman teach a man how to lead? 
I mean, maybe I'm saying two different things. Maybe I'm, maybe I'm contradicting myself, but it's just I'm just wondering because it's it's interesting when I hear women say, "Well, I'm going to wait to see if I'm, I'm going to wait to follow man if he shows not a lead." Mm-hmm. That's that's idiotic because as a leader, I'm not going to sit here and wait until you decide that you're going to listen to me. <laughs> I mean, it depends on what you feel that. Um, you feel that leadership is everybody definition of leadership is different. You know, um, my definition of leadership. That's so true. Well, that's, that's what's up. Older me, her baby, man, we don't have some. Yeah. So, I mean, your definition of leadership could be different. You know, like, um, I love for a man to, um, I don't mind paying bills and different things like that. Some women have a problem with that. You know, they, if the man come home with the paycheck, she be like, why you can't pay the bills? You know, I look, I don't mind, you know, taking over those type of things. But what I look for in leadership is that you help and make sound decisions. Mm-hmm. You know, um, when it's really important, like you're stepping up, you know, like, um, you know, and certain things of, you know, just the household to make sure the household stay together, that it's not all on me. You know, that's what I feel good sound leadership is. You know, everybody definition of leadership is different. And it's whatever you feel that you can handle, basically. You know, men are different. And also, I want to say in signs is different. Zodiac signs. You know, you may be dealing with somebody in a certain Zodiac sign that may not be that aggressive so you have to figure that you you have to be like okay they're not aggressive in that area and you have to accept that not put pressure on them because that's within their character man oh oh, you mean dang we ain't been talking for we ain't done this in a couple weeks and you come back on on fire where i can't sit here and disagree with you and say you're wrong (laughs) man that's no fun God, Hit him with the boom. Shut me up. <laughs> she shut me up. Can you believe that? Lord have mercy, but you know what? You were right. <laughs> that was so low. <laughs> but that thing about the Zodiac does have that does true because mm-hmm. one thing is that I'm a Libra. Uh, in certain areas, I'm very, very passive. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing said too, we before we was we was actually doing our show prep. And we was talking about a situation that you came up with mm-hmm. and um, where the guy was passive. Mm-hmm. Sometimes being passive is, for a man, he's showing his leadership. And let mm-hmm. me tell you why he's showing his leadership. Because he realizes it's no it's no reason to fight. It's no reason to argue. If you, right. mind, if you don't mind sharing that with, with everybody, and, and then I can sh- explain why I said what I just said. Okay, so a guy that you know, I've been dating off and on. We had scheduled a date um, after Thanksgiving, which was sat. I mean, not Thanksgiving after Valentine's Day, which was Saturday. And, <laughs> and right, <laughs> Saturday. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just teasing. So um, <laughs> he so he texted me like, you know, I got my, you know, we had planned to go to the movies and everything, and he texted me like right before the date and was like. You know, my baby mama just dropped off my daughter, you know, and we're going to have to do something after she leaves. And I, I got upset. I was furious. Like, dude, like, why you didn't tell your baby mama, like, you got a date? You know, like, and he was like, you should be happy that, you know, I was t- taking my daughter and I'm taking care of her and I'm making sure she's good. And I'm like, nigga, like, speak up to your baby mama. Like, go. Like, I got a date. You know, he was like, you being childish. He was like, you know what I'm saying? He was, he was just like basically going off on me. Like, he was like, a lot of women would think that's sexy, that I'm taking care of my child. You know, and I'm like, nigga, I don't want to hear all that shit. I'm missing the movie. You know? <laughs> you know, so I was talking to Freddie, like, and Freddie was like, you was wrong. Of course, because you're a woman. Way to use that. No, I'm just sorry. Uh, go on. Go on. Go on. <laughs> you know, and I'm like, you know, I was like literally upset, you know, and I was bothered about it, you know. And when I was telling Freddie, he was telling me, he said he's actually stepping up in a leadership role. Mm-hmm. And here's why he's doing that. Because 
he's he's taking care of his family first. As a man, it's interesting where I find what a lot of women say they want a man that takes care of puts family first, does mm-hmm. everything for his kids and takes care of his kids. And then when he does it, y'all get mad. Uh also it's a situation where this here's here's one of the reasons a leader doesn't just demand things. Mm-hmm. A good leader, even if you're at work, a good leader knows what fights to fight. Mm-hmm. So she comes over here, drops off the kids. What is he to gain if he sits here and fights her in front mm-hmm. of the kids? What's there to gain? What's at the end of the day, what's he what he's gonna win? Mm-hmm. Nothing. So I'm gonna take care of my kids. My kids are gonna see that this half is out doing what she gotta do. And eventually grow up and right. see that. So as a man, he he actually leading by saying, you know what, fine, do what you do. Now I can sit here and say, from my personal experience, am I passive with my ex-wife? Yeah, I am. Because at the end, what's what's that again? To sit here and fight with somebody, I'm not I'm not going. I'm not going to win either way. Right. So even if she did sit here and take the kids back, which she wasn't going to do. <laughs> You know, you can best believe she in the car. Yo, daddy ain't dead. Yo, daddy ain't dead. Yo, daddy ain't dead. Yo, daddy ain't dead. So now he's losing there. Right. If he does argue with her and takes the kids, the kids see that. Right. So really, here's what this dude, he actually, as a man, stepped up and led. Right. Oh, and D, come on. D, he wasn't lying. Please don't say that. He picked the argument with you because he. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Let's just can we please at least just say that did he okay so did you did you see him afterwards, after since then. I was upset, so he he texted me was like she just left. You want to come over? I was like no I'm good I'm going to bed. See you was filed for that. You just came over and gave him some ass. So <laughs> well, taking care of his kids because I can tell you right now I've lost women. I stopped dating women for. Uh, Try to come between me and my kids. Mm. I've gotten an argument with, with women I love who said, you're not spending enough time with me because you're always doing something with your kids. I said, so what are you, you trying to sit here and tell me I shouldn't deal with my kids? Mm. Okay, we could. Mm. Well, I'm not saying you shouldn't be with your kids. Well, you used this example. Yes, you did. <laughs> because I tell people all they know, my kids will only be this age for a certain amount of time. I got you for eternity. It's only gonna be my son. This is my last, my son's last year wrestling. He won't ever do this again. Right. Unless he goes to college and does it, which Lord have mercy. But this <laughs> last year he's gonna be a high school wrestler. Right. I can sit here and do whatever we're gonna do again. Tony, 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 Raphael Sadiq is coming again. <laughs> uh, or whatever. It, they're gonna come again. So let me take care of my kids first while they're here, because I plan on living for a long time. Hopefully, knock on wood, you know, so the kids come first. I applaud a man who take care of his kids. I, I do too, but I guess I... No, you don't. No, I, I don't. Most of not I, when it affects you guys. Women don't... They love right. that until it affects them, until it comes in front of them. True. I was selfish in the situation. You was typical. And I... He had to work on Valentine's Day, and I wanted my day with him, you know, and... What's the big deal about... Okay, what's the big deal about Valentine's Day anyway? It's... That's not a big deal. It's just the spending the time with the person. And you spend time with that person, period. You give me, you know what? You can have Valentine's Day with that person. You give me 364 days with that person, I'm good. True. But this was the only, normally the weekends he have his kids, and this was the only weekend that he wasn't supposed to have his kids. So I was really interested in spending time with him for the weekend and it didn't plan out that way so and you and here's the sad part about it he called you up and this is where y'all women catch l's he called you up to spend time with you but since you couldn't spend the whole weekend with him you didn't spend any time with him i cut that shit short which was crazy so you called you called the l (laughs) instead of understanding you know what but it's not quantity it's quality because here's what happens this is why y'all women catch l's again too Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a zone. <laughs> Y'all sit down here and be like, I want you to spend all this time with me, spend this time with me. One of the only guys that can do that are those guys who ain't got a job, who got bum jobs, who's driving your cars, who's sitting at home playing PlayStation, getting high all day long, not doing anything. A guy, a serious man who has stuff going for him, he's busy. Guarantee you that. True. 
So you want all this time from him, but you still want him to be this type of guy. That doesn't mesh. It's, qu it's quality time, not quantity. So if you want to you want a guy to be up under you all day long, all the time. Okay, fine. Understand that he's gonna be driving you to work. <laughs> he's gonna drop your car off. He's gonna be the he's gonna be the one at home playing Madden or in line take taking money out your purse <laughs> while you working. So it, it comes. It, it, that's where the balance comes in. So understand the type of what you want as a lady. Understand what comes with that. If you want to do this for all this time with you, fine, good. You get Pookie, Ray Ray, and Felon Fred. <laughs> Although I'm not a felon. <laughs> uh, they can spend all the time with you all day long. They can pop a ton of babies in you and won't take care of near one of them. <laughs> and, and, and then at the end of the day, understand if a guy won't have something, he has a drive, he has a vision for you. He may not have all the time that you, he may not be able to spend all the time building that vision. But at the end of the day, come on now, when y'all, because the golden time of life, honestly, is when you're in your social, your late 40s, 50s, 60s. Like I said, look at my, look at my mom and, and my, and my, uh, my mom, my dad, my dad passed before he passed. Dude, they traveled the world. They got me and my brother. Oh, you drive, <laughs> you drive. Don't tear up the house. We're going to Australia. <laughs> And that's when they was in their in their fifties. You build to spend that time together. I agree. I was just telling somebody the other day. Um, she was telling me that um, when you know when you're dating a guy, you know, um, th there's guys that got more time and there's guys that don't. You know, and I was like, basically, you have to pick and choose. You're not going to always have everything your ducks lined up in a row you know if he's a good provider but he's not hardly home are you willing to deal with that and if he's not a good provider and he's always home he got a lot of time on his hands are you able to deal, deal with, with that it. there you go it's not going to always be lined up in a perfect circle you have to take what you feel that you can deal with and i think that's what we miss in a lot of relationships like you waiting for everything to be lined up and it's not it's whatever you feel that you are comfortable with that you can deal with you know what i'm saying like some people can't deal with the man putting the toilet seat down to me that's petty look before you sit right if i got poop i look <laughs> before i sit just put that shit down to me okay but some people some women make a big deal out of it look before you sit your big butt down right. like i do when i have to poop i just put the toilet seat down baby i don't even ask yeah. no questions like okay 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 lisa i love you i haven't <laughs> we haven't really met or talked but you just did with my pet peeves i don't know understand we, we talking generalities so in other words I, when i talk i talk in generalities in all honesty, please don't lump us all in one thing and say, can't. no, under <sighs> okay, <laughs> this is for you, Lisa, okay, um, in all honesty, if somebody sits here and says, black women are the most educated women in the world, y'all never sit here and say, well, not all, even though it's some idiots, it's some bum-ass black woman, and there is some stupid black woman, so, Use that same logic when I sit here and say something where black women, where women are struggling with. Of course we know it's not all. Of course we know I'm not lumping everyone in it. So that, yeah, that's just it. Uh, secondly, I saw you Sunday, Sean. <laughs> Next. <laughs> we have, do we, do we have some breakfast? It was good. Where y'all go? Where did, where did we go? Oh, we went to this place called Thomas, right on uh, Plymouth Road. Oh, it was, man, it was a beast. It was Are so good. Are you serious? Good. Oh, man. I'm we was the only Negroes in there. I'm going to check that out. We was the only <laughs> Negroes in there. Man, I was waiting here. Woo! <laughs> or, yeah! If yeah. that happened, I was out the door. Like, <laughs> babe, we about to get lynched. Let's go. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, so. Uh, no, Lisa, no, I, no, you don't no need to apologize. I mean, in all honesty, you just don't need to apologize. I do appreciate the part that she says, sorry, a woman apologizing? Woo! You just scored some points. Yeah, uh, apologize. Quiet. 
Again, <laughs> they, guys, she apologized. In all seriousness, you find a woman that can apologize, jump in her inbox, please. Please. Because she, most women don't. <laughs> but I mean, I'm not, it's just not honestly, I'm, it's just truth. It's just, it's just in a way, that's just like kind of a pet peeve of mine. So, no, you, you're good. You're good. I do appreciate you. I do appreciate you. Antonio, it was not Antonio's, it was Thomas. <laughs> a lot of men intimidate my hustle and insecure. That's what Desiree said. So, what type of. So let me ask you a question. So here's what's interesting. About it. I, I hear women say it all the time, which I find is interesting, which I do believe a lot of guys who don't have anything going for them are insecure. True. Again, as I said, the guys who ain't got nothing going for them are insecure. Right. Um, it may not always be the fact that if a guy who has something going for the, for them may not deal with, may not deal with, with, you as a woman it may not be because they're being insecure it may be like dude shut up you're doing what's expected and you just keep you keep trying to run things mm. no as a, as an alpha man as a true leader you're not running anything for me at all but that's but this. also being in a relationship with a person i talked about oh, this be- i talked about this before a person can be jealous of you yeah, if they, they don't have nothing going for right, they just say your career, you know, your life. True. You know, like it's like we on the same team. Why the fuck are you jealous? Well, then Desiree, if a dude is jealous of you about what you're doing, you got a hustle going. That's a red flag. That means don't deal with the dude. Right. Period. Because it's not a question that dudes out here. It's a lot of dudes out here that you should not deal with. It means that his insecurities is on high. Exactly. You know, so exactly. It has nothing to Count do with your blessings. you doing what you're supposed to do. Count your blessings. <laughs> but babe, if you out here hustling, you making, you grinding, hustle, baby. Good. What what you need me to do? <laughs> Wanna be out there pumping your gas? Yes, I I be happy to do that for you. Oh, That's what a man is supposed to do. Bottom line is this. So ladies, when when you're dealing with a dude and you see these red flags, and he feels a certain type of way, dude, let that go. You don't want them issues. I don't give a damn how handsome he is, how suave he is, how much swag he got. And his dick is this long. It doesn't matter. If you see these red flags and you know this is what you want the man to support you and your hustle, run. Run. Okay. But, but good dick is not considered a red flag. Y'all go crazy over good dick. <laughs> Y'all do. Y'all are worse than men over good pussy. <laughs> I mean, I made a fool of myself over good pussy. I got two kids and that crazy ass wife. I the crazy women too. They got the best pussy. So y'all, y'all are worse than us because y'all will see a dude. Oh, he he just lay it down. He put it on me, and y'all will let that dude lay up in your house, eat all your food, put him in hand of y'all kids, and impregnate you with two, three, four, five kids. Before y'all realize he ain't shit, but I don't want, I don't want, and you will, let, and you will accept him sleeping with somebody else down the street. No, well, I don't want, he done slept with her already, but I want to make sure that she realizes that's my man. I think you mean dick, which leads to our second point. <laughs> Baby, can you forgive a guy for cheating? Can, can, can you forgive your spouse for cheating? I can. Hold on. Let me put this around here, this way. Okay, Let me tell you why. Because people are human. And I feel that if you constantly pursue getting help and counseling and different things like that, then I think the situation can be better. Now, if the person just wants to step out all the time, then that's a whole other different issue. Did I, there's, there are different type of relationships. There are open relationships. You know, We're not talking about old relationships because that's not. Let's just talk about you know, the old school, the puritanical. Okay, so the old school. Yeah, one man, one woman. Right, one man, one woman. You know, um, some people just can't handle. Look, I don't blame you. Some people just can't handle you seeing somebody bang your spouse. You know, like in your head. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, you just can't handle that. And it, it's not the same anymore. Yep. You know, so that's. that's what you can't deal with and i wouldn't that's your own decision i wouldn't say that but for me if a person cheated on me i'm like okay you know let's work it out you know if they continuously do it then we do have a problem but like okay kobe went went out of town 
Okay. Mm-hmm. And he smashed some little tack head chick. Mm-hmm. You can forgive that. Just it's, it's random because you ain't gonna see that chick again. This is random. Random. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Random pussy. Yes, I will forgive it. You better. Be, you better. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Gerald. No, Marquita said nope, no cheating. Okay, so for me, it, it's it's a touchy subject for me. Uh, let me be honest with with everybody because if I'm sitting here being honest and I'm putting myself out here in the world, yeah. Uh, I spent, I was a fool for a while. I was. I spent 10 years of my life being a simp for my ex-wife. Oh, no, I got this. Excuse me. <laughs> so, again, I'm being honest with you. Uh, Every time you say ex-wife, you got to take a sip. You have no idea. <laughs> Just say you have no idea. <laughs> so, uh, going back to what I was, because I gotta get there. Um, so I spent ten years being a simp. Uh, my ex-wife cheated on me twice. Well, well, she was she she had two relationships. <laughs> Let's call it that. Let's call it that. <laughs> Let's take it in. It's what it is. Uh, I'm not gonna say she just cheated twice. No, dudes was ramming her <laughs> often. <laughs> so. Um, at least two. First time we separated. Um, but we got back together because, heck, I mean, that was my wife. I still loved her at the time. I thank God we did because if I had my youngest son, my my, uh, my son, Rondé. If I, if I hadn't got back with her, I wouldn't have Rondé. And uh, Rondé's a blessing. But both my sons are blessings. I love both of them. It's not a question. I love both of them. So, um, we got back together. And then, uh, at that point in time, so to sit here and say to forgive cheating, I could for for love because I did love her because at the end of the day, a relationship should be more than just sex. Right. Um, what's hard about this understanding that you're sitting here letting some guy release in you. Right. That's that. That's the hardest thing for a guy. It's because especially you know that you suck his dick. <sighs> this other man's penis was in your mouth. His semen. I mean, it, that's hard for us to deal with as right. men. Uh, then of course, then of course, I'm, I'm sure. Hold on, I'm just waiting to see if anybody says, uh, "Well, men do this, 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 this." <laughs> but no, ain't nobody. Ain't no woman said that yet. Wow, I'm surprised. But here's here's why it's different for men because men, we can sit down here for the most part. Sex is what we do, not who we are. For you ladies, for the most part, let you know you have to have some strong, some feelings for a dude. To have sex with a dude. You have to. Us? My dick is hard. You got an ass. <laughs> you got a pussy. You got some right. halfway decent looking titties. I can sit here and I can jump in for between two to ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. And th- that's the difference. And, and you know, really it, that's just it's just that's just how we are. Uh is it right? Is it wrong? Hmm. I, I can say either one, you know. But I think, truthfully, it really comes down to how you feel about that person. Right. Because I forgive somebody now for cheating. <sighs> um, probably. Don't get no ideas. <laughs> um, just being honest. Because it's like sex. I love sex. It is. It is. It is what it is. But I'm like, eh. It's not the most important thing to me. It's not. Um, you give me somebody that 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 has that love. That has that. Uh, that love is what's hard. And you, and and it also depends on the situation. Like Gerald said, it's hard trying to get that trust back. Right. It's just like if you sit down here and ball a piece of paper, you can spread it back out. It will never be the same. Right. And I was talking to this. I was talking to this young cat. Uh, he came by to clean my carpet. carpet. He came back. He, he cheated on his girl. He was like, man, how long do I got to wait before she gets back with me? I said, dude, you cheated on her. You got to wait, bro. You got to understand, once you get back, it's all about her. Right. Your ass ain't going out. 
You ain't do you gotta accept that. And that's a chance you took. He's like, man, that chick wasn't even worth it. I said, they never are. <laughs> so I mean, uh wow, my kid said I gave him three times to go all because he said he wouldn't do it again. And that's what's sad. Mark my, my my oh uh, congratulations again. I'm waiting for that baby to come. <laughs> man, I'm waiting for the, that prince to come for them guys. She don't uh, have that long though. Yep, she I know she don't. Uh, hey guys, also, uh, you know, the Lewis's, you know, my man's a, a mad mechanic. Her husband's a mad mechanic. Let's say, hey, being honest with you, hey, get, get in contact with him. If you need anything done for your ride, he'll come out and see you, take care of you. So, hey, uh, let's support black businesses, truth be told. Uh, but going back to what I was saying, it, it, it really just comes down to, I understand why Kobe's wife forgave him. You see that ring she got? <laughs> let, me, let, let me marry Venus Williams. Serena, well, Serena's married. Let me marry Venus or some millionaire black woman. Okay, fine. I don't care. Let's cheat. We good. Just don't, <laughs> just don't put that shit in my face. Just don't be on TMZ. Right. I'm good. Yeah, I cheated on uh, such and such. And, uh... Yeah, just don't let me know. Because you got people out here cheating with, like, my ex wife. She cheated with <laughs> <laughs> shit. So we got people cheating when people ain't got nothing. You know? It's sad. It's sad. It's sad. So last topic of the day before we end up, before we end up, uh <laughs> Okay, so it comes down to this. Let's be honest with you. Uh you have a homeboy, a homegirl. Let's say a home, let's say you're a girl, you have a homegirl. You're a home, you're a guy, you have a homeboy. You out here just doing your thing, you single. Woo, 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 doing ah, doing what you do. Are there any rules to smashing one of your homeboys or homegirls smash? Not relationship wise. Right. They were just a fuck buddy. So if they were just a fuck buddy, what would be the rules to smashing them? Like, or are there any rules? Okay, so for me. I'm passing that box. Because I'm <laughs> <laughs> yes, it's- I told Sean I wasn't going to drink that much. Uh, <laughs> I can't stand it. Uh, so, let's... No, that's for me. So, my rules, personally. Uh, I don't like... Oh, doggone. She's, let me see. She's still online. <laughs> because I want to see you go through the real story. Shit. Uh, so, it comes down to... For me... If 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 I'm not in a relationship with her, they fair game. They fair game. Because I'm going to tell you right now, I'm going down and, and party with my bros. Back when we were single, when all of us were single. <laughs> going down to Miami, Vegas, doing what we do. And we just like, toss it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We got our rules like, hey, switch. <laughs> you know? Um, period. I mean, I don't. If it, if I'm not in a relationship, dude, you, we're good. You right. can have with it. You can do whatever you want. If we if we're not in a relationship, now if it's a woman to where, dude, you ain't smashing no girl I love. It's just a girl I'm in a relationship with. It's certain. Even if we break up, you still don't touch that. No, 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 man. If one of my homeboys smash, well, if they smash my ex wife, I'd be like, please marry her ass. Oh, but uh, man. if they smash one of my ex girlfriends, then I really cared about. I gotta look at you kind of different, bro. I have to look at you kind of different. Don't catch feelings. <laughs> she said, yeah, there you go. Don't catch feelings. You know, uh No rules, she grown. I mean, that's what I believe too. Like if the person, like if I got a friend and they not in a relationship with them and they was just a fuck buddy to them too, you know, I believe that Hey, that is just fair game. It's not, you know what I'm saying, not anything extravagant. Um, of course, if you're in a relationship with the person, then you break up with them. You know, I would be leery or I would ask my friend, like, do you mind? But if they community dick, like, why should I have to ask? <laughs> okay? But then, but then, why do y'all women, Most I see mostly women doing this. Why do y'all women get mad over community dick? I don't understand that. I don't either. I mean, is it, is it, community is community. You know, 
it depends on the rules of engagement that were established with the friends with benefits. The rules of engagement. So what's the rules? What what's the rules of engagement? Nobody. If you're a fuck buddy, you don't have a deed to dick. That's flat out. Okay, <laughs> like out. you I don't. don't. Have a deed to dick. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like you can't babysit dick. You know what I'm saying? Like no, they. That is their their dick is for everybody. I mean, it's like welfare dick, you know. But hold on for a second. But you don't want somebody that you know. You okay? So you know that they out here doing their thing. Mm -hmm. You don't wanna you don't wanna sit here and be like, yeah, we just sat here that the same dude. Y'all sit here like you had like you have you have lunch and stuff with all your friends. Y'all sit here talk <laughs> talk about because y'all women I know y'all nastier than we are. <laughs> y'all y'all talk about all types of stuff. You don't want to sit down there and when y'all talk about that all types of stuff, y'all comparing, y'all comparing. Because, by the way, guys, it's a secret. Guys, we compare. <laughs> Fellas, we compare. <laughs> Ladies, we compare. When, when y'all do more, we do compare. Be like, dog, did you realize that she, did you realize her, her nipple was this way and then, and then one area, we do all that. <laughs> I, think it's, I think it's not the fact that we compare dick like when you've been with the same person. I think the fact of it being competition and that it shouldn't be any competition in that area because other people are having sex with the person. You know what I'm saying? So I think some women just become more serious about having the same guy as other women. You know, even if like the guy don't claim you or different things like that and he wants you to keep it a secret that you've been with one another. It's because that he's, of course, he's fucking other people. You know, he doesn't want, you know, that type of information or he doesn't want it to be known that he was with you because of the fact that he's community dick. So, but here's, but that, okay, so that's interesting. That's an interesting point that you just made. Because if he wants to keep things secret, why would you deal with them even with community? Because my thing is, even with, unless you have, unless you guys are in a relationship, in, a, in another relationship, you're cheating. Mm -hmm. I understand the secrecy. But if y'all both single, mm -hmm. why is there any secrecy? Because you can best believe when I was single, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I care less what anybody thought I was doing. So why is there secrecy, ladies? Why is it? Why would there be secrecy? Why can't you just be honest? Like, you know what? Yeah, I ran through with this dude. This dude ran through me. We did this, this, this. What's wrong with that? Is that I mean, at least I don't kiss and tell. I mean, kiss and tell. <laughs> kiss and tell. Oh, was that a song? And, oh, Virtus said, okay, hey, Virtus, I didn't know you was in here. If we, friends with we won't kiss. I can't kiss someone I don't love. Why? Wait, 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 wait. I don't understand the logic behind that. Okay, so. This yeah. Okay, this is something that's all. Okay, go on. Go on. Kissing I'll, is intimate. I don't believe that fuck buddies should be kissing in that way because, look, I just don't believe that because kissing is intimate. It's more personal. It's soulful. You know, so. And fucking ain't! Well, I got a high voice. Baby, yeah. fucking is fucking. So you let this dude. Because, let's be honest with you. Let's be honest. Most people are maybe used protection out here, maybe 50% of the time, if that. <laughs> so you going to let this dude, one, release in you, or even be all on top of you, sweating all on you, just smacking you all around on your butt and whatnot. Y'all, one, he's eating you. He hits saliva all up in, inside of you. <laughs> but we're not going to kiss. All right. I don't, I, I don't get that logic. You let, oh, I don't get it. Because get it's, it. it's intimate. Like when you kissing somebody, it's intimate. So, but it's not intimate when he's going, he's between your legs, licking you, and and and, and all his saliva That's in you. Feeling. That's not intimate. Kissing is more intimate. It's like saying that okay, it's a possibility you want a relationship. This is why women are illogical. You will put a dude's penis in your mouth. That's not intimate, but kissing is. <laughs> I, I, I don't get it. See, Virgil says it's too intimate. You will put a man's penis where he pees 
bro. <laughs> in your mouth. You will lick his scrotum. Do all this nasty stuff. It's not nasty. It's you will lick his ass. <laughs> you will eat his groceries. <laughs> but kissing? That's who it's <laughs> Yes, I really. No, no. I just don't understand the logic. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. Okay. I I already don't like kissing. Okay, yeah, if you don't like it. But a lot of women like kissing. Right. But again, (laughs) goes back to just. Just okay, this is where as a man that do fact. That does it though. Fact. <laughs> <sighs> you don't like to kiss. So that means you know, two lips, fine. Some tongue, fine. But it's okay for the same two lips to go down to your two. Oh, that's a lie, because when you eat, when you go down, you eat. Let's be honest with you guys. It's a lot of fluid going going back and forth. Mm-hmm. A lot. Okay. So you'll sit down here and let a dude have all this saliva all up in the private area. Mm-hmm. You will take his penis, put that in your mouth, mm-hmm. and you have all that pre-stuff beforehand. Mm-hmm. That's not too intimate. <laughs> you will flip him over, put your tongue where poop comes out, that's not too easy. But <laughs> kissing is. Okay. And he loves okay. it. Okay. <laughs> TMI. 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 T T TMI. So Fred, you kiss every chick you smash? Yes. 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 Not just kiss intimately. Yes? Yes. yes. Ooh. Yes. And it doesn't affect you. Heck no. Heck no. Heck no. 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 But again, that goes back to how men think of sex. True. I'm like, no. Oh, yeah, I can get shit. We good. Okay. Now get up. I'm, <laughs> when I was in when I was in my peak, man, I'll kiss you. <laughs> Go take a shower. I want to sleep alone. Go and get out. <laughs> I'll walk you out. We good. Take that walk of shame. <laughs> we good. But you just kissed me. Yes, I just kissed you. I'll kiss you on the way out. Mm, bye, baby. I guess that's the logic behind, like, if a man got good dick and you tell him only put the tip in because women be going crazy. Like, only put the tip in because if you put the whole tip in, you're going to get psycho. That's the truth. <laughs> but you know what? But his thing is that at the end of the day, you don't give the same sex to everybody. You right. don't as a man. As a man, I tell you right now. As a man, I don't. Heck no. Back in the day, no, nah, no, nah. man. You you got some. You you know you got the kisses and what. Now nah, might not go down on you. Well, if I go down on you, it's, it's a half ass go down. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, I'm not gonna sit there. You groceries? No, nah, no, nah, I, I don't do groceries for everybody. Um, uh, I did not. We had to be in a long relationship <laughs> for me to go there. Um, but yeah, it was different levels when I had sex with chicks. Right. Different levels. Uh, you know, if I was trying to get rid of her. Woo! Too many brothers! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That's how you get rid of a chick. Honestly, that's how you get rid of a woman. But if she was crazy, she wanted a relationship, and I didn't want that at the time, okay, no, but I'm coming about. I'm whoo-wee. I'm going to be almost there when I pull up. <laughs> and then when I get there, oh, baby, I'm so sorry. Wow. <sighs> well, that's okay. Next time will be better. No, it won't. <laughs> <laughs> After wow. a while, she got the hit. You know what I'm saying? So, it, it, it is what it is, you know. So, all right. So, next subject. Next subject. No, we about to, we, we, we've we been here for almost an hour. We're trying to keep this under an hour, truth be told, moving forward, because we're trying to be a little more, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, just trying to be nice, trying to keep you guys. You won't, don't want to keep you guys to Friday night. Y'all ready to get paid? Get Friends just got paid. Why oh, didn't I'm broke? Friday <laughs> night party hopping. Hey. Yeah. Uh, you know, you know what's funny? You know, here's here's irony. Remember that song? You don't have to take your clothes off. 
Back in the day. You might remember that song. Remember the song. You don't have to we don't have to take our clothes off. Oh, okay, yeah. To have a good time. Right. Oh no. We can dance and party all night and drink some cherry wine. Oh no. He died of eight. Mm. That's irony. That's mm-hmm. irony. Mm-hmm. So again, everybody be careful out here. Enjoy your day. So, last thing we're going to do, what we want to do moving forward is that at the end of our uh, lives, myself and my dear co-host are just going to just spend some time to vent or just say what we have to say. Uh, this part of the show, oh, I wrote it down and I just, is, uh, please be patient with me. Uh, this part of the show is called La La's Lecture. <laughs> because she thinks she knows everything in the man's minute. So, uh, you want me to go first? You want to go first? I can go first. Okay, La La's Lecture. Uh, I hope you guys gain knowledge and how to handle different things in relationships. Of course, everything is not going to be perfect. Um, but the person that you decide to spend your time with, um, they complement who you are, basically. You know, so what we talked about in the show, I hope you gain new knowledge. And if you have any questions, you're more than welcome to inbox us about different relationship questions. Or if you want something to be said and you don't want your name to be in it, you want to remain anonymous. um, Of course, you can inbox us and we won't say anything as far as who it's coming from. You know, but relationships are work. Like, I just want to say that they are work. Like, nothing is going to be perfect. Like, the butterflies and everything that you say, like, I'm looking for butterflies. I'm looking for my Prince Charming. Sometimes that may not come. Sometimes it may come into a form of something, someone you're not attracted to, to be honest with you. You know, so you have to be an open book to accept new experiences and new people. So... We really appreciate you tuning in, and like I said, if any questions or anything that you want to remain anonymous, just inbox me or Freddie, and we the next show podcast that we will make sure that we address it and we will talk about it. I mean, next Friday because I'm not working next Friday either. So <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is now this is my little minute because I have my, my I got big shoulders so don't count. So uh. <laughs> What's interesting is that I gotta be serious for a while. One thing about me is that I am very kind of like pro black. And I believe that the foundation of our society is relationships. The foundation of our society is marriages. The foundation of our society is men and women supporting each other. So I'm gonna sit here and say something about, I know it's kind of old right now, and I'll give a damn if Snoop apologize. It is what it is. What Gail King did was foul. Very foul. Because you have to understand what's happening in our community. The media is attacking us. It is. Detroit Free Press made a post about gentrification today. About poor people getting kicked out, not getting assistance anymore. And the picture that they actually used, this lady had a thousand dollar coat on. So now what ends up happening, what it looks like is that, oh, these poor people really have money. They're welfare queens. What's happening, and it doesn't matter whether they're using the news media or if they're using Mammy Gayle King and Oprah Winfrey. Don't fall into the trap. Don't support that stuff. Please, understand where things are coming from. It's the reason why Okra is never married. I call her okra because she's slimy. Don't care what you say. She's slimy as hell. Gail King is a damn mammy. She should not have asked that question. Period. So, um, understand what's coming. Understand what they're trying to do to this, to us. Because we're the only people. No other race could have sat down here and 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 and, and uh, survived, but we survived. No other race can sit down here and and have gone through what we've gone through. They kicked the men out the home on purpose in the 70s. 
on purpose because they know it's going to weaken the community. Right. What we have to do now is, is, is make it strong. Build this community back. This is part of the reason why I have to do what I do, and this is part of the reason we have this podcast. Just because I, I'm pro-black doesn't mean I'm anti-white. Because right. I'm not anti-white. But understand, please understand, people, that we have to treat each other better. You know, um, be honest with each other. Understand that all our enemies are not outside. Right. They're in our city. They're in us, too. They're in our city. And uh, well, next week, I'm going to be on the church, too. <laughs> So if you're a church going person, you may not want to hear my minute next week. <laughs> because that's our enemy too. But uh that's my that's the man's minute right there. So everybody, thank you again. Um be on the lookout for our Instagram page and our Facebook page. Right. And we're gonna put this on YouTube page too also. Uh but thank you guys for coming. Thank you for your support. And we look forward to uh, talking to you guys again next week. Same bad time. Same bad time. <laughs> All right, everybody. Anything else you want to say, dear Lala? Nope. Take care, everybody. Okay, bye-bye. Have a great weekend. All right.